For the last few days, we've been reporting on those deadly suicide bombings targeting Christians in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday. The Prime Minister warning there are more explosives and more militants out there tonight. Family members have begun to lay their loved ones to rest. There are serious questions about what the government knew about the plans for these attacks and why leaders apparently did nothing to stop them. But for one family with deep ties to the D.C. area, those questions don't matter. Not tonight. They lost their 11-year-old son in one of those explosions. His name is Kieran Schaeferitz de Zoiza. This is, this is when he was really little. For Alexander Arrow. Was, <laughs> this was about when he was learning to walk. It's painful to flip through his son's baby book. I mean. <laughs> Good and sad. Same it's, kind of, hard it's kind of painful. But yet so much joy comes from these pages too. The country of Sri Lanka is in mourning. White banners fly high for the victims, flying high for a little boy named Kieran Shafritz de Zoya. Before Siri, how do, we find, how do you guys find out the answers to hard questions? For 11 precious years, <laughs> well, Kieran lit house, up his dad's yeah. life. He was the most loving and determined and articulate and uh, insightful kid. We, we, want, we want the world to know what was lost. He was an articulate, joyful boy who dreamed of becoming a neurosurgeon because he wanted so badly to help others. He wanted to cure Alzheimer's, but his bright light was taken away Easter Sunday when a suicide bomber detonated nearby as he ate lunch with his mother and grandmother at the Cinnamon Grand Hotel. The terrorist attacks by religious extremists killed more than 300 people and wounded hundreds more. He was on the table in the hospital. That was one of the, the things that, um, that she, that just came to her mind to, to blurt out in, in, in his last few minutes was that he, he just had said that he wanted to, he can't go because he, he needs to come back and go kayaking with you again. He, 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 he needs, he, he, she said, he told me how, he, he, he needs to come back and go kayaking again. Kieran was a fifth grader at the prestigious Sidwell Friends School in Northwest D.C. He was in Sri Lanka studying at an international school to learn as much as possible about other cultures. He was planning to return to his D.C. school in the fall. Things that hurt so much. We were going to celebrate his 12th birthday and we are not going to be able to do that. Tonight, a father has lost everything and the world has lost out too. Janice Park, WUSA 9. There are so many heavy hearts in the wake of this news. The State Department confirms Karen was among the four Americans killed in those Easter Sunday bombings. Several others were seriously hurt.